Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Goodwill outlet or a Goodwill bins thrift haul for you guys. I'm super excited about it because I found a lot of great stuff. I went two days in a row. So I went Monday, December 30th, and then again on New Year's Eve, December 31st, which was Tuesday. Um, Tuesday was especially fun. Both days were fun, but I had a blast on Tuesday because I met my friend Carla there and I actually met, um, quite a few other resellers. A couple of them watched my videos. So that was really neat to, um, chat and hang out and just kind of go through the bins together. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. Um, uh, my numbers, so I have 33 items here from both days. Every, everything is just kind of mixed in. Monday was definitely more shoe heavy and then Tuesday was more clothing heavy. Um, so 33 items. I spent $70 on everything and that breaks down to $2.12 per item with my expected profit right around $900. Um, and I was pretty conservative when I was kind of guesstimating everything. So let's just get into it. I'm going to first start off with one piece that I grabbed for myself and then I will go into shoes and then we will move into clothing. Okay, so first off for me, I just picked up this junk food graphic t-shirt. It's a size medium and it says living the dream. I thought this was really nice with the raglan sleeves and it's long line, a little bit of a high low. This is definitely the kind of stuff that I wear all the time. Okay, so everything past that will be to resell. Starting off with shoes, we first have this pair of J. Crew navy flats, and these are J. Crew factory, which I definitely don't always grab. If these were at regular Goodwill for like seven dollars, I probably would not have grabbed them, um, but I wanted to pick them up at the bins. Um, first off, because they are 100% genuine leather. They are also brand new. They're a pretty good size, they're a size seven, and they're a navy color. So navy flats, speaking from personal experience, can be kind of hard to find. Um, I think these will be a great everyday shoe for someone. And, you know, I will definitely grab those all day long at the bins. Next up, we have a pair of boots. And these are by Kelsey Dagger, which her shoes are sometimes sold at Anthropology, Not always. I don't know if these were in particular. Um, they, again, I don't think they have ever been worn. There's the bottom sole. Um, they're this manufactured distressed leather look with the kind of burnished toe here. They are a wedge boot. The style name is the Kirsty, and they are a size 10. So I really like those. Again, genuine leather. Next up we have these beta, beta brand wedges. And I think these are a popular style from beta brand. Um, they're called the All Weather Wedge, and um, they are leather again. This um, upper here is leather, and the back heel does have some wear, but other than that, they are in great shape, so I did want to go ahead and pick them up. Um, these, if they were in excellent condition, would sell for like 50 or 60 on Poshmark, but with the condition, I'm expecting 20, 25, maybe 30 which is still a great flip for picking them up at $2.12. Okay, so this is a new to me brand. It's called Mara and Mine, um, I believe. And I think these are sold at Nordstrom. They are genuine calf hair, kind of slip on sneaker. And they have this embroidered Scorpio on them. I thought that was really neat. They're a size eight, and again, they have little to no signs of wear. They look like maybe they were tried on a couple times. Um, and yeah, they're designed in Los Angeles. Just really cool sneakers. Um, I looked them up and it looks like they retailed for $395. Um, and they have a similar style. It's not the Scorpio 
that sold for, it looks like it sells consistently for around $100 on Poshmark. So I thought that was really neat. I'm excited to try those out. Okay, next up, just a basic pair of Seychelles booties. They are a suede and they have this kind of reptile detail here with the cutout and they do zip on the side here. Just a classic everyday booty with a low heel. These are a size nine and here is the brand if you miss that. These are also sometimes sold at Anthropology. Again, I don't know about this specific style, um, but they are genuine leather once again. Okay, these are super cute. These are Saludos um, Espadrilles and I believe the style name of these are the Spritz, is the Spritz Loafer or Espadrille and I just thought they were adorable. Again, they're in great shape, size eight and a half. Um, so these will be great for the spring and summertime to wear to brunch or the beach. Second to last pair, these are Paul Green. Um, and Paul Green, they have very expensive shoes. Um, I sold a pair of booties not too long ago that retailed for like $500. I don't know the exact retail of these, but I'm sure it's definitely over a hundred. Um, just a really cute peep toe metallic kind of booty heel. It zips on the side and um, they say they're a size three, but uh, Paul Green, you have to convert his sizing. Um, it's definitely larger than it's not in U.S. sizing. And they are, again, genuine leather. Really cute. And last but not least, our last shoe find is a pair of teaks. I was so excited to see these in the bin. I found these on the first day, um, and it was towards the end of the day. And they, towards the end of the day, they start... Um, wheeling out two rows at a time um, and all of the resellers were on the other row and so I was on the the uh, inside row and um, I saw them there and I was just kind of holding my breath um, waiting for them to say go so I could grab them before someone else saw them because um, if someone else saw them I probably would not have you know I'm not a fighter at the bins, so I was so happy that I was able to just kind of, um, you know, scoop these up without any issue. They are the Copperhead Snake Print Teaks. These retail for $295. They're a size 9. They definitely do have some wear around the edges, um, which I will disclose, obviously, but they are still definitely in wearable condition. Um, they have a lot of life left. The bottom soles are um, still going strong. So I was super excited about those. Okay, so that's it for shoes. Let's go ahead and move into clothing. First off, we have this Uncle Frank dress. And this is a boutique brand, I believe. Um, Am I showing the tag? I can't really tell. I think it's a subdivision of this other brand, Ivy Jane, which is actually, I picked up a piece from them. I'll show you next. Um, and it looks like it does pretty well on Poshmark. This is 100% linen. It's like a tunic dress. It's all embroidered down the front, along the bottom hem, and along the pockets. It has these really nice deep pockets here. Kind of a half sleeve. Just a basic back the pockets kind of follow onto the back it's a size large which is a great size and it is linen so it is kind of that lag and look vibe to it I love the embroidery I think that's so cute okay so this is the Ivy Jane tag and these are also a size large I think these were from the same person um, just a really cute mustard again 100% linen wide leg pant with a drawstring. This waistband here is super soft. It's elastic. So these are great just kind of running errand pants or even, you know, an updated look for around the house. They also have pockets and they kind of have this subtle like ruffle here, which I thought was a nice detail. Um, so I really like these. I love mustard. If you watch my channel, um, I wear mustard a lot myself. 
Okay, so this is Moth by Anthropology, and it's a size medium. A cable, cable knit um, tunic dress sweater. Um, I really like this. I love the kind of neutral color scheme, and this looks like it does pretty well on Poshmark. I need to go ahead and get it listed while the weather is still cool. It is a wool blend, um, so it's great quality, and I was pretty happy to find this. It has no pilling, no real signs of wear, so that's always awesome. Next up we have just a bread and butter piece. These are American Eagle jeans, and I wanted to definitely grab these because um, they are a high rise. They're also a size 12, which is a great size. They have the distressing at the knees, which is still pretty trendy. Um, and let me see, they are the jegging style as well, which I think is pretty popular from American Eagle. And they're in great shape. So for all of those reasons, I definitely wanted to grab these. I think these are a solid $25, $30 flip. Um, moving on, we have this is Babaton from Aritzia. This is a size 8. This is a really pretty kind of blush, pale pink, lace overlay dress. Really, really pretty. It has eyelash lace details around the sleeves and the chest area. And it's lined everywhere except for on the back, which I think is a nice touch. It has this exposed silver zipper here, and it also has pockets which is awesome. So this will be great for um, a wedding, a spring wedding, or you know, um, any type of kind of um, more formal event. Really pretty. Okay, I was pretty excited about this find. I like grabbing Harley Davidson stuff, especially with huge logos and also in a size extra large. So this is men's extra large. And I think it will do really well because of the size and, and all of the kind of in-your-face logos. Um, they are embroidered. It's really, really neat. It has frayed edges around the sleeves. Um, so yeah, very, very cool piece. Next up we have Eileen Fisher pants. These are just kind of like a slouchy utility pant. They are 100% tinsel. They have a button here at the bottom. Um, they have pockets. They do have an elastic waist, um, but they also have a button fly and button closure, or sorry, a zip fly and a button closure here. So you could dress these up or down. You could wear these to the office with a blazer, or you know, you could just throw on a tank with some flats to go to brunch or run errands. So, did I say these are a size medium? Okay, next up, I grabbed this piece based on style. It is a vintage sweater, which I do love picking up. Vintage sweaters can sometimes be my quickest sales. Um, how cute is this? So, it's definitely not for everyone. But I just think it's so fun and quirky. It has all of this texture to it. And it's kind of like a marled yarn look. Um, it has these like raw edges around the collar. I just kind of absolutely love this. I think this totally could have been sold at Anthropology. Um, but yeah, it's just multicolored and all this texture, super cool, very artsy. I feel like this is something that I would find in Austin. Um, but yeah, just a very unique piece. It's super, it has like weight to it. It's very high quality feeling. So I was pretty excited about that. Okay, next up, these are Joe's jeans. Again, just a great bread and butter piece for my closet. It has the manufactured distressing and whiskering here. More distressing at the knees, some fading. They are a skinny fit. And again, they're in great shape. I believe these are a size 
32, yeah, they're 32. They are the skinny ankle Aveline jean. So I was definitely happy to grab those. They're a great size. And again, they are right on trend. Okay, uh, next we have my favorite piece that I found. This was just kind of like balled up in the corner of the bin and I saw camo and for whatever reason my eye always goes to camo, mustard, um, there's just certain prints that I always am kind of attracted to and so I reached out to kind of unroll this and see what it was and I was so excited to see that it was Johnny Was. It's a size extra large and it is this fully embroidered camo thermal top. How beautiful is this? Um, so it's all embroidered on the front. It continues on to the back around the shoulders and it also has kind of this arrow embroidery down the sleeves. I was so happy to find this. I, um, Carla was there with me and we both were just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I found this. Um, so this was awesome. I'm probably going to list this pretty high. It's definitely still the season for it. It's a great size, extra large. So yeah, this pretty much made my whole day. I was ecstatic. Okay, next we have um, G. And this is a size small. This is just a boutique brand, but I do like to pick it up. The um, more trendy and unique pieces like this. It has a lace bottom hem. It's like a tunic, tunic dress style top. Um, it has the button tab sleeves here. It's kind of like a railroad stripe. It does have pockets. Um, and yeah, it's just a great piece um, to throw on with jeans or tights, leggings, very versatile. Okay, so I do have quite a few pairs of shorts coming up and I believe they are all donated by the same person because they are all the same size for the most part. These are blank NYC, the Barrow short, size 27. And just like a faded, um, distressed pair of shorts. Great for you know, the upcoming warmer weather. Torrid. This is a size zero from Torrid, so that's a zero X. Um, it's a floral daisy printed trapeze style dress. It has this lace up detail here, which is super cute. It's fully lined, which is always awesome. Um, yeah, I just really like this. This would be really cute with like a denim jacket over top. Another pair of shorts. These are 501 Levi's. I really like these. They are very trendy. Um, I don't know if this was manufactured or if someone did it themselves, but the denim that covers the button fly was cut off and then frayed, which I thought was a really neat look. Um, so you can see the button fly there. Lots of... Um, fraying and distressing again and yeah so there's the 501 style I usually always pick up 501 Levi jeans even if they have a lot of wear and distressing they actually sell a little bit better like that we have an anthropology top this is seek here it doesn't say it anywhere on the tag but that's the sub brand name it's C dot K E E R and this is a really pretty feminine blouse. It's like a long sleeve, very lightweight. It has this ruching at the side for a little bit more of a flattering fit. And all of this detail here at the shoulder. Really pretty, this is a size extra small. Okay, another favorite find of mine. I was super excited to find this. So it's Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. And it's 100% silk. It's this mini dress. So pretty. It's like a scarf printed, a uh, scarf print. And it has these kind of tiered ruffles here in the skirt portion. Really, really pretty. Um, the straps are adjustable, which is always nice. It doesn't have a size. I think it measured like a medium. I have measured it already. 
Um, it zips on the side. I was just very excited to find this. Another pair of shorts. These are really cute. These are a Lucky brand. And they are the Riley Boyfriend. They have all of this patchwork detailing with embroidery. Again, lots of fraying. It's so funny because there is like definitely a certain style to all of these shorts. Um, the patchwork continues on the back. Again, size 27. I like that they are a little bit of a longer length as well. Um, some people, you know, search out the longer length shorts, like a Bermuda short almost. Okay, so this is Lulu's and really pretty. It's like this eyelash lace cocktail dress. It is lined everywhere except for this waist portion as well as the back. It has this hidden zipper in the back. Um, and the nice thing about this dress is it is it does have kind of like a built-in bra here. It's like a padded um, insert there, which is great. You don't have to worry about you know your bra showing in back or finding something to wear under it. Um, this is a size small and it's in great shape. Next up we have a current Elliot kind of pop over. Actually no, it's a full button down um, long sleeve top. It's striped. This is called the Emily shirt. I did look it up. It's a size zero which converts to extra small in current Elliot. It has this pleating here in front and again this is a great piece to um, dress up or down. You could wear it to the office or you know you could wear it even with sneakers with the sleeves rolled up um, just out. So I like this a lot. Anthropology Meadow Rue. I kind of went back and forth on if I wanted to pick this up or not. I did decide to grab it though because like I've been mentioning um, you know, wedding season is coming up in the spring. People need dresses. This is a great dress to wear to a wedding. It's like a pencil dress with all of this embroidery up here. It's a size zero and it's in great shape, so I couldn't leave it behind. It's really pretty details throughout. And then the bottom hem and back, let me see if I can show this, has this really cute um, kind of pleating and tulip effect. Um, so I liked that a lot. Some more anthropology. This is pure plus good. And this is definitely more of a basic line from anthropology, but it does sell pretty consistently. People seem to really like their basics. This is just kind of like a burnt orange long sleeve with like a, an uneven hem. It has ribbing on the sleeves as well as the bottom hem. It's a size extra small. We have a basic pair of Eileen Fisher pants, size small, and these are very versatile. They need a quick wash, um, but you could wear these as kind of like a trouser pant to the office or as like a legging um, under tunics and stuff like that, but they're, they're like a stretchy ponte knit, so these are a great wardrobe staple. Okay, last pair of shorts for this haul. These are Joe's jeans again. And um, we have some more distressing. This bottom hem is supposed to be rolled. I saw it in the stock photo. And so yeah, lots of fraying, whiskering again. Same kind of thing going on. Um, great shape. And these are the collector's edition. The style is the Ryla and they are a size 27. And again, they're, they're um, a little bit more of that longer length, which is nice. And last but not least, we have this anthropology dress. It is by Maeve. It's a size US 6. And it's this floral eyelet dress. Really pretty. It's like a mini length. And you can actually wear these sleeves on the shoulder or off. They have elastic, um, so they will stay up. 
and I just think this is so adorable. Again, this will be great for when the weather warms up a little bit. And it's fully lined. And yeah, just a great piece. So that's it for my bins haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me some feedback down below. Let me know which items you liked. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, feel free to reach out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.